Hey everybody, I just got done installing a whole septic system and it was a pretty uh, complex and very different type of system. So I figured I'd show everybody what kind of system this is. But first, let me explain. As we all know, uh, your all your poop comes out of the house and goes into a septic tank. Well, that's exactly what happens here. But unfortunately, the fields where everything gets soaked into the ground is uphill. Not by much, but enough that we had to put a, a second tank in, which that tank, only the liquids, all the poop is going to sink to the bottom. So let me take you through the whole system and just show you because one, it's a pump up system. So you have a whole separate thing. And then the ground here was not good for a, a, a septic system at all. So they had to put a whole special expensive uh, system in. So oh, let me uh, take you around and show you. Okay, here and not yet, this is a pipe that will come out here and connect to this tank. This tank, which you could barely see with all the dirt on it. Um, you can see the edge of it there, blah, blah, blah. This is a 2,000 pound, uh, pound <laughs> a 2,000 gallon tank. That's only going to hold the poop. Underground, which you'll see part of it in a second, a pipe comes out of here, then goes on a slight angle and goes down into this tank. Now this tank you can see much better. This is a 1,250 gallon tank. This piece of pipe sticking up here, uh, is basically the pipe's so long so I can see it when I'm backfilling. Uh, this here is just part of a, uh, a filter, an air filter, believe it or not, for a smell, carbon filter. All right, so here's the tank. Then over here, this is what you call a riser. So the top of this will be even with the, the rest of it so you can easily get to it. In here is where things get complex. Look at that. You got all the electrical. You have the pipe that comes up from the pump way down the bottom there and then goes out, which I'll show you that in more electrical. And a cover that gets screwed down. You can see the electric running here that goes to a control panel inside the house out right here you have an inch and a half pipe that's in the ground that's connected to the pump and it's going to pump it let's see this is where the pipe is goes all the way over here take a quick walk with you so that pipe's all underground here all underground you see, you got a special septic sand right there. I'll explain that to you in a minute. And that pipe, which actually I just got done repairing, if I hit it with the excavator right there. So this is a distribution box. So all that fancy stuff I showed you was to get that water, just the, the, cl the clean water. Well, not clean. I don't want, wouldn't want to drink it. Uh, but not the poop, nothing solid in there. And then that will get dumped in there and then it will raise up to those holes, which are called levelers and they still need to be adjusted. I just threw them in there. Uh, and that'll be all done evenly. But to go to this one, now you see this? That is an Elgin system right there. All these, well, under that is six inches of that septic sand and then um, covered up, let me show you here. Just I just got it laid on top um, with, without the leaves, of course. And the sand, well, I'll show you the other ones. The other ones are uh, just about completed with the sand. And you can see all the sand on both sides. So that's uh, 44 feet, each one of these. Um, so that this pipe here, all these pipes, this is a solid pipe. So nothing's going to leak out of it. The pipes here are perforated with the holes pointing down. So the whole idea of the system is that when that gets filled up, even with a cup of water, that it will d evenly dispense that liquid to all three of these, basically at the same exact time. So, you know, because if 
even though the uh, the property here is really bad for a perk test, uh, this system is supposed to uh, really help with that. Uh, but if if one is getting more than the other, well, that could be a, a, a big problem, depending on how much you know, overflow it, and there comes it up coming up from the ground. And here's the first one completed here with the sand. So you got six inches of sand on the bottom, and you got six inches at minimum on the on the sides there. So this whole thing uh, it goes right into the ground, it absorbs into the ground, nice and evenly and slowly. That's the whole idea here. Um, and the dirt, believe it or not, will go right on top of that. So all that dirt. Without the rocks, well, big rocks will go on, on top of that. So this is what they call an Elgin system. And the other system of this was that pump up, which is pretty cool. Um, I think it's a, it's a, for an Elgin system, it's it's pretty big, definitely. There, I got three laterals here and they're 44 feet each. So I just figured it'd give you a quick uh, rundown because so many people coming over to me say, yeah, but what are you doing? I never seen that before. Well. That's what it is. So, if you want to know, now you know. If you didn't need to know, now you still know. This is where your poop goes. Well, the poop goes in the tank and your pee-pee comes up here. Anyway, I hope you learned something.